Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet. This is Termination. You can call me Michael if you want. That's my real name. Um, this is another Cinema 4D tutorial and on this video I'm going to be showing you how to make something like this which is called compositing. It's a composite image and it's very easy to do. So let's open up Cinema 4D now. I love Cinema 4D, it's a very powerful engine, program, whatever you want to call it. It's very good, I love it, you know, why didn't I use it sooner? It's very good, okay. First thing you want to do is have an image. Obviously, um, I have the the beach, which I'm, I'm going to show you how to do it with that. So bring it in into the materials toolbox over here I don't know if you're gonna call it that and then go up to render settings I'm gonna I'm gonna make it 1920 by 1080 because that's just what I do <laughs> no okay um, anti-aliasing on best if you want to get the best results okay what you want to do now is you go up to the light source and then go to background the light source meaning this little light toolbox there meaning the light and then background and then add the material to that background like so and now this is where you wanna create okay let's create a camera create a camera and then there's you wanna make it like first person you wanna get into first person point of view with the camera so you can switch the angles around much more easier and uh, the way you do that is you either click over here which will put you in uh, first person or you go over to cameras scene cameras and camera easiest way is this little tab over here it's the easiest way to do it um, now you need a reference you need to make a box or something I'm probably gonna go with um, a cylinder a cylinder a torus I'm gonna go with torus okay now select camera again and then this is where you move the um, the the floor to match with the scene that is currently being displayed at the moment okay just about right there might be fine that looks just fine we're gonna make a bigger text image have to move my damn mic because it's screwing up Okay, what you do now is go over to the box section and then add a plane and now make the plane bigger. Bigger. Very, very big. Not very big, it doesn't have to be very big, but I like it big. I think it shows a nice little result at the end. And now, usually, what I do is add the text right away, I don't wait for that. I'm gonna make it tutorial. You guys can obviously make it whatever you want, your YouTube name or whatever. Um, I'm gonna choose Cubacity for my uh, cube over here. Cubacity, Cubicity, okay. Now I'm gonna make the text bigger. Actually make it noticeable. Perhaps it's making this lag a bit doesn't really matter though everything's being processed very fairly well now you want to make the text um, have a larger depth just it makes it look nicer I think rotate the text this way about right there that seems to be good now let's render this it looks like this and this is not what you want to get from this literally um we are gonna fix it we're gonna add a bunch of more little effects and stuff first thing you wanna do is click on the material up here do not do it this way because if you do it this way it just won't look right um go up here click control and then drag it to the plane and that way it's added to the plane what you do now is right click on the plane go to cinema 4d tags go down to compositing and now once you select compositing this will pop up um, basically this little camera next to the plane um, and then select compositing background 
And what that does is it makes it invisible to the human eye. But it will still receive shadows and stuff like that, and that's very nice. Um, that's basically where the um, ambient occlusion comes in. What you want to do now is add a sky. And then when you add a sky, go to File, New Material, Material Number One, and um, deselect Specular and Color, and then select Luminance. This gives it a luminant kind of like feel to the text, like it's actually in a bright um, day sky, like a bright beach sky. Now you drag this over to Sky, and as you can see. Now if you render this, it'll look like this. The um, the background is completely gone. The way to fix this is right select on sky, right click on sky, go to Cinema 4D tags, go down to Compositing once again, and then what you want to do now is deselect cast shadows, deselect receive shadows, and scene by camera. And now you get this. Fairly simple, huh? Yes, very simple. Okay. What you want to do now is you go to render settings once again, go to effect, ambient occlusion, and global illumination. And now when you render things, it'll take a bit longer to render because of the ambient occlusion. And then afterwards, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add a color to my text real quick before I finish that. I usually like blue for this type of scenery. Oh, actually, wrong tab. <laughs> All right, um, go to reflection, make your text reflect. What I like about this tutorial is like a couple different tutorials in one. Yeah, I'm not gonna be hogging your little subscription box if you are subscribed to me. So put it on the um, text. Now let's render this out real quick. Let's render this out to right click. Now you can start seeing that it's looking very nice, very 3D like. And as you can see, it already looks pretty nice. It looks like it's like, you know what I mean? Like in the picture, sort of like it was taken with the picture. Um, now what you're going to want to do, or if you want to do, because you're basically done with all the effects, um, effects stuff. Um, I tried this one time, but I'm not going to do it in this video because perhaps it's already slowing it down enough to the point that I don't want to slow it down any farther. So uh, basically what I did one uh, time is I added a big rectangle on top of the text and then enabled Throwsy on top of it and then rendered that out and it looked pretty nice um, with a bunch of crumbling... Um, pieces on the side over here hold on my dog is stop it okay um, now if you want to usually I like doing this it adds uh, more of a, a, of an effect of a 3d image I guess I don't know how to explain it um, add cubes the cube to the to the scene usually I always add a cube behind this a little bit to make it seem like it's actually like in the image and then I add a cube in front of this to give it a more nice effect a nicer effect add another cube just about this area and then make each cube like differently placed okay now you're gonna wanna give the cubes color obviously um, I'm going to probably make it black. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make it black. Add a reflection. Shit. Okay. Fresno. Okay. Now let's add a color to the cube. Did we go? Now let's render this out. It'll take a little bit. Um, ambient occlusion is what causes this. But it looks a lot nicer with ambient occlusion and another thing that's slowing it down more is my fraps. I'm trying to run it at full quality just so you can um, get this better. It's still running pretty nice though. Okay, and this is how it's going to look now. Um, usually what you see is people using metaballs. Um, I can show you how to make that. It's 
really easy. I'm going to just use three spheres, not five or four or six or seven or eight. I'm just going to use three of them, simple meta ball. Um, after you create the spheres, just go up here, add a meta ball, and then select the spheres. Actually, I made four of them. And then go up to, and then I drag them into meta ball. And now this is where the meta ball effect comes in. First thing you want to do is select meta ball and down here on a whole value, um, make this 10 or 5. I usually go with 5 because it looks nicer. Um, but it's really big and I don't want it that big, really. I'm probably just going to delete it after I'm, I show you guys how to make it. It's really easy to make and now you just drag each little piece of ball out. Yes, it's that easy. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna leave it like this just yeah like this is just fun now we're gonna add color to it a black again I'm gonna add black and now let's render this out you can already see the reflection coming out of the metal ball and the shadowing on the bottom and the metal ball is reflecting the cubes you can see the cubes straight off the um, the metal ball and um, the text a little bit just about right there and there you go usually what I like doing with the metal ball is making it more 3d like let's turn it this way um, basically you want to make it look like it's not there like yeah like it's there obviously but like like it's part of the image you know what I mean like part of the picture and this is how you do it um so yeah this is how you make a composite image it's really easy um uh the trick is to just have an imagination uh an imagine an imaginative brain and um just mess around with it see what you can do with it and it's always going to come out pretty nice if you follow these steps um there's the metal ball right there looking sexy um, there you go. This has been a composite image tutorial on Cinema 4D, and this has been Termination. Peace. And guys, please subscribe to my videos. It'll just um, give me the... Um, I, I like making videos, but um, I'd like to have more subscribers, get my um, YouTube thing going on a little bit more. Um, so yeah, this has been Termination, and peace.